Hey guys, it's getting to the point of the year where your feed on pretty much any social media app is gonna be flooded with people talking about their Spotify stats, what they've been listening to. Mine will definitely include the Glee cast. <laughs> Today, I thought we'd bring you a video that focuses on Spotify and shows you how you can use Pixar for all your Spotify designing needs. What's up, my name is Matilde and welcome back to the Pixar YouTube channel. Today we're going to be designing three different things. First thing that I have in mind is going to be mostly focused on consumer and that's designing playlist covers. Second thing we're going to be working on is cover art for your albums. And lastly, let's work on creating a podcast cover. So if you're interested in learning any of that, keep watching. First things first, let's start with the playlist cover. Now, I personally pride myself in keeping my playlist very organized. Usually I just use really simple images, but today I wanna to create something a little bit extra. I have this one playlist that I haven't made a cover for yet. It's just called Techno Tunes for the Cold. And it's just my, it's just been my Techno Tunes that have been on loop this autumn. I head over to Pixar and just open a 1080 by 1080 canvas. And right away, I'm gonna go on stickers and just search CD. This is immediately what I found. It's perfect for what I want. I'm actually gonna start off by changing the color, which I'm gonna do just by going on effects. And this is the effect that I'm going for. You can play around with it a little bit more. You can adjust, but this is what mine ended up looking like. And then I'm gonna go over on the remove tool and just remove the text that is above the barcode. And I'm just gonna replace that with Matilde's playlist. I'm then gonna use a color picker to make sure that it's the exact same color as the barcode. I've got an eye for those eye notes can I say? <laughs> Next up, I'm gonna get some stickers and I'm gonna layer them on half of the CD to just create some sort of textured effect, like it's some sort of CD sleeve. Over it, I'm just gonna write the title of my playlist. I'm just gonna mess around with some fonts. This is what I ended up going with and I just made it italic. And I'm gonna go on the blend option and also just play around with it until I've got something like this. The cold part, I actually wanna put a shape behind it. So I'm just gonna add a shape and change the blend of the shape. And I'm gonna put the text over it in white and then mess with the blend again. <laughs> Once the main CD part is done, I'm just gonna create a super simple background by using the color shade picker and getting a pink tone that's sort of similar to the CD that we have going on. And then I'm gonna go over on stickers and do my absolute favorite design hack, which is just type up gradient and then get a gradient that you think is cute. This is the one that I'm using and I'm just gonna place it behind the CD. And this is what the final playlist cover ended up looking like. Okay, next up, let's create an album cover. Do something kind of Y2K, but also like Gracie Abrams' newest album cover coded. Not too sure where we're gonna land with that, but let's just try it out. Again, I'm gonna open a 1080 by 1080 canvas, and I'm just putting a picture of myself in there. That is 100% a headshot, but we're gonna edit it, so it looks cool. I'm gonna go over on adjust, and I'm gonna start off by messing with the contrast. I want to make it really high contrast, very high highlights so that it looks a little bit like this. And then I'm also going to go on effects and add this dotted effect that I think looks super cool. So don't forget to mess around with the hue of the color until you get something that you like. And we're working on the background. I'm just going to get this random blue color that I think looks kind of neutral, but a little bit more interesting than just black. And I'm gonna add this to the background. And then again, I'm gonna get a little gradient sticker and just put it behind me just subtly so that it gives it a little bit of a glowing effect and it makes me stand out. For the title, again, I said that I wanted to go for this kind of Gracie Abrams thing that I've seen a lot of people use on Pinterest. So I went ahead and just put the first word of the song title, which is in this case, I couldn't think of one, so I just wrote song. <laughs> I'm gonna do this in a very faint beige yellow with a black stroke. And then I'm gonna go ahead and choose a different font. And I'm gonna use this orangey toned color again with the same stroke and just put it over it you can do a variation of this you can do the full song title and then your artist name above it but i just thought this looked kind of cute you can also end it here but i wanted to add a little bit of texture a little bit of spice make it a little bit more aesthetic so i just went ahead and chose a bunch of different paper textures and kept building them until it looked like this and this is kind of making me want to do music now <laughs> Last but not least, let's create a podcast cover. Now, if you have been a subscriber of this channel, that's a subtle little plug there. You may have remembered that we have already done a video breaking this down. So if you wanna see how we made this podcast cover, you can go ahead and check out the other video we made on this YouTube channel. But I never miss an opportunity to design something new. So let's make a different style of podcast cover. I saw this really cute inspo pic on Pinterest that had the hosts in all these different chat bubbles. So that's what I'm gonna go ahead and try to replicate today. I have these different images of various videos um, that I've used as thumbnails throughout 
the history of this channel and I'm just gonna go and click the free crop version and there's a little tool on the side called lasso crop and I'm gonna be using this to create the little speech bubbles once all four are completed I want to change the color of them so again very similar to the first thing that we did on here I'm gonna go on effects and I'm gonna be messing around with the colors until we get four different colors that I'm happy with. So I'm gonna be adding a little bit of shadow so it makes these bubbles stand out. And I'm gonna be choosing a background cover that again is neutral, but not necessarily just black or white. Now I'm gonna go on shapes and get a rectangle and I'm just gonna put it in the middle, slightly tilted, because this is where our podcast title is gonna go, which I am then gonna add, choose a font that I think is cute and reflective of our podcast or whatever the podcast mood is for you. And I'm just gonna stretch it out so that it looks like this. Add a few little stickers and this is what the final podcast cover looks like. And that was it. Those are three different assets you can create for your Spotify on PixArt in less than an hour. Super easy. And I think that most people would think that they're done by a graphic designer, but maybe that's just me. <laughs> you guys enjoyed this video as always. We post very regularly on this channel. So if you don't want to miss a tutorial, make sure you subscribe because we work really hard on this. As always, you can also follow us on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. Tag us in anything that you make because I am always looking at those and resharing it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye. Thank you.